Good morning guys welcome back to my channel today I am with a new video I am going towards Lunavla and uh, this is not the ride ride kind of a video I am also giving you the review of my bike which is of TVS Apache RTR 200 it's a carburetor mode so let's see you on the road All right, guys. Welcome back. So, uh, one of the most important thing for a bike uh, is the fuel economy. For the commuter bikes in their range of this uh, TBS Apache RTR 200, the company reports 41 km per liter. However, I have feel is around 35 km per liter it gives me. Uh, mostly, I ride these bike on the highway, and uh, one for uh, with this mileage, you are good to go for a long ride. Now come to the other part of it. Now we are talking about the other thing which is the technical aspect of uh, the TVS Apache RTR 200. So displacement. Uh, displacement is 197.75 cc of single cylinder. Uh, oil cooled and uh, it, the man, uh, it has the manual gearbox. So the gearbox is always the manual. Let's talk about the power. Max power is 20.7 bhp. Uh, it's 9000 at 9000 rpm. Maximum torque is 18.10 newton meter at 7000 rpm. It's a four-stroke engine. Uh, as in, it's a number of gears available. This bike is five, and uh, it's single cylinder oil cool bike. Let's uh, talk about the other feature of it brake so my bike is non abs bike so abs version is also available with this uh, rear disc uh, yes and the front disc is also available in this uh, talking about the wheel size 17 inch uh, uh, it has the tubeless tire at the front and uh, front is 37 mm telescope fork wires talking about the tires uh, the Ramoda tires has been used uh, brakes are normal it does not have the AVS but AVS variant is also available you can go ahead and purchase the AVS version as well so uh, I'm gonna talk about now the disc it's a paddle disc uh, you can find it in the front and the rear wheel and on the instrument cluster you can see in the instrument cluster it looks beautiful it has a uh, few information so which is for uh, acceleration the normal bikes which has with the speedometer and everything one more thing it has also uh, I can highlight you with this speedometer which is the gear indicator uh, many users complain that um, when you are riding and uh, it does not give you the right number of gears on which you are riding so I have I have the same issue and actually actually I had the same issues and I get it replaced the gear sensor from the service center and now I think it is working fine there is no problem for mine now I'm uh, gonna talk about the all right now again I'm gonna talk about the riding perspective of it seats are really comfortable for this bike 
cornering is very smooth handling bar are also smooth um, i have uh, ride that bike for uh, for around 600 to 700 kilometers in a day uh, as of now i have not crossed 1000 kilometers in a, in a day i'm talking about in a day so in 600 kilometers i have driven in a day and uh, i does not feel any problem in my back so the riding position and uh, so it will not give you the problem to your back basically you can ride it for a long time talking about the headlamps headlamps are uh, pretty decent and uh, you can uh, find those uh, headlamps and you can add extra led bulbs in it if you're riding riding in the night i feel very smooth riding on this bike because uh, it's uh, it feels light when you're riding and uh, as far as the concern of uh, handling and most of the bikes if you can think of is a little heavy heavy little heavy to uh, so if you're doing a cut shot on the riding as in uh, you're changing the lanes so oh, this bike is very very comfortable in doing this i have experience on my end so most of the times i uh, prefer to have a night ride though it is dangerous but uh, with this bike i'm i feel really comfortable riding in a night and uh, it has very smooth performance as of now now sabse important question kya ye bike long ride ke liye bani hai of course guys बाइक तो कोई भी जाएगी अभी एक बंदे ने स्कूटी पे कश्मीर टू कन्याकुमारी मारी है तो बाइक तो कोई भी जाएगी चलाने वाली की कैपेसिटी होनी चाहिए तो इसमें जितना बीएचपी दिया गया है इट्स 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 ओके इफ़ यू एज इनकी हाईवे पे जाके अच्छी परफॉर्मेंस है इनकी येस ऑफकोर्स यू कैन टेक इट फॉर अ लॉन्ग राइड एंड द अमाउंट ऑफ पावर विच हैज़ दिस बाइक Uh, it's it's pretty decent so you will not feel that uh, we are running very low less something like that so if you are riding this bike and after that if you will compare with the other bike which is of scooty and everything uh, and the ct100 so you will feel more powerful this bike apart from that other bikes are also available uh, with the heavy powers you can go for a dominar you can go for an other variant of bajaj and everything bajaj bikes are little lesser i am not saying that you should not go for the bajaj bike but uh, i would like to say is mere paas pehle tvs ke alawa i had a bike which is uh, uh, ns200 bajaj pulsar ns200 to maine wo bike ride kari hai and uh, it is it is it is in the in the sense of power if you want to compare it it is it is more powerful and smoother than tvs apache rt or 200 but problem wahi hai bajaj plastic ki awaaz aati hai if you have the fairing in your bike so it will it will noise it will create a vibration kind of thing in your uh, in your plastic so just because of that i sold that bike and uh, i have purchased tvs apache rt r200 because on this bike i have uh, driven around 2200 kilometers from delhi to nepal uh, on tvs apache rt r160 to wo mere dimag mein thi usi wajah se maine ye tvs apache rt r200 liya and i have many more plans to come uh, which is of a long ride of course uh, i have skipped one plan which was from mumbai to delhi ride i have skipped it because of my uh, health issues and everything but very soon i'm going to do that ride again after that i going to go continuously on the ride for ladakh in ye sab plan banaye hain maine and i hope i can execute that plan in near future very soon so this was the review as of now for the bike so you can now enjoy the ride वेलकम बैक एंड अभी हम लोग पहुंच गए हैं खोपोली 
so you can see the market of Kopoli which is around me and uh, I'm going to straight way uh, to Lenavla so after Kopoli the Ghat section mm -hmm. will uh, start <laughs> Preparing for the longest ride ever in my life, so testing chalu hai abhi. So I will, you will get to see what kind of a ride I am doing in near future, and I will make you the part of it. You will enjoy that video very soon. So abhi testing chalu hai ki dhoop ya garmi mein main bike chala pata hoon. Next ke liye main lona wala hai. I have tried for it, so dekhte hain. Now you should enjoy the view. Let's see. In rainy season, it become heaven. So once you are near by Mumbai, I will request if you can visit that place once. I will definitely come in the rainy season one more time. Every year in uh, in rains, I come in Lonavla. Uh, there is a bushy dam nearby it. I cannot show you right now because uh, it's been uh, uh, it's it's been dry uh, and uh, bushy dam pura sukh shuka hoga, guys. So iske liye main I I do not want to show you that. Uh, this time that is enough from the Lonavla side. Now I'm going back to the home. Uh, that is enough uh, for me. And uh, Lonavla, it's too hot, so I'm going back. So while going back, you can enjoy the guard section, and uh, I'll catch you on the roads.